yo, yo. I said, yo. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, John Reigns, coming at y'all with another video, man. Make sure you guys leave a like on this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and join the giveaway in the link in the description if y'all haven't done it already. Now, if you one of the viewers that have been watching my, you know, my most recent video, which was the Smasher Pass video, appreciate y'all supporting the channel. But this is mainly a gaming channel, but I will be doing a lot of IRLs. I got another IRL coming up. I'm going to do an IRL basketball video. So, yeah, if you guys are here to see IRL videos, don't worry. Stay subscribed. You know what I'm saying? Have the notification bells on because IRLs will be coming. But as y'all know, 2K did drop some new um, gold packs. Now, these are guaranteed gold packs, but you guys are going to see what it is. But you guys see right here, there's a little challenge you can do to get a special pack for 2K21. Hey, it's not going to be nothing too, too crazy because we know it's only going to be like the beginning of the year for 2K21. Um, but hey, it's a free thing for 2K21, so you might as well do it. It's just content anyways. So yeah, today they brought out some gold packs. And honestly, it's, it's funny to me because obviously you guys see all the gold cards that are in here, but some of these gold cards that I'm like gonna be a buy now, like John Stockton, Bill Russell, Dirt and Whiskey. Um, you know, most of those cards are gonna be buy now. I mean, Tim Duncan, but they're not, you know, it's a gold card. So, can we really be upset the fact that some of these cards are gonna be buy now? But you guys see the prices on these gold packs 25,000 VC just for one pack, bruh. And I honestly think that's the most expensive that they've ever made a pack be was 25,000 VC. And honestly, guys, I'm going to tell y'all right now, do not open these packs. Do not open these packs. I literally had 20K VC sitting in my account. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to buy, you know, uh, $2 worth of VC, which is literally 5K VC, just so I can have enough to open one pack to see what I would pull. And I honestly told myself that like, yo, bro, if I don't pull something that's fire, I'm not opening any of these packs. Even like, think about it. 2K kind of scammed with this because the only way you can open a guaranteed pack is if you spend 25,000 VC, and that's a lot of VC. That's very expensive. Not to mention, guys, 2K20 is over, y'all. 2K20 is over. Remember that. We have like, like two and a half or like two weeks until they come out with the prelude. The prelude was actually leaked. I'm gonna do a video on that for you guys, and I'm gonna do a video reacting to the 2K21. Um little gameplay but the prelude is coming out soon guys so we really realistic like realistically we have about like two weeks left of 2k20 why would you want to go spend a lot of money on these packs if you're not even a content creator and as i went to go open the packs you guys can see what i got you guys can see what i got but um yeah before for me i was like you know what i wanted to try to open the packs to do a video and try to you know pull something every time i try to do, do that which was about three times this year I did not pull anything good from the pack opening. So I'm like, you know what? It's not worth it for me because I'm not a strictly a my team YouTuber. Obviously, I do my team videos because I love to play my team. I play, a, I, I literally play it a lot. You know, the park has been bad the past couple of years. So my team is where I've been able to like still be able to enjoy 2K. If it wasn't for my team, I literally wouldn't even be playing 2K at a cer after a certain point. And I'm sure it's like that for a lot of guys or a lot of you guys because, you know what I'm saying, the content for park just gets dead and stale. But you guys see what we end up pulling. We end up pulling the Bill Russell, guys. And Bill Russell is literally a buy now. Bill Russell is literally a buy now, guys. I was like, once I seen that I got that, I'm like, nah, I'm good. Not to mention, I was watching DBG's pack opening from earlier. He opened a box and he got five Hakeem Olajuwans. Like, they gave him five Hakeem Olajuwans. I'm like, you know what, bro? I'm good. I'm not even going to take the chance on 2K's pack odds. I know you guys see I have a lot of MT, but don't worry. That MT is actually going to be put to good use. Just stay tuned for the video. Um, But yeah, like, these are the gold cards that I have now, guys. Like, right now, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, at this point, this is the gold cards that I had. Obviously, I had the cream locked in. Um, I earned the Kobe, earned the um Curry, earned the Larry Bird. And then now we got a Bill Russell. And I'm just like, bruh, is it is it worth it? And I would tell you guys, no, it is not worth it. Um, go get the, the go get the gold cards that are cheap. You know what I'm saying? Go play some park. If you really want to open a pack, go play some park. You know what I'm saying? Play some park for about a day or two get yourself some vc because you can do that if you play a park just for a full day just for at least a full day and you have to be winning you can get 25k vc and you'll be perfectly fine you know what i'm saying there's you know you can make vc just to open a pack if you really really want to get a gold card and you don't have any mt or anything like that go earn it from park guys i'm telling you but um like what the tim duncan the dirt and the whiskey the um the hakeem olajuwon the john stockton 
all of those cards are buy nows and i think even the will and some of the other cards are buy nows but they're probably just a little bit more expensive but some of these new ones are buy nows obviously right there you see there was a bid on it because someone bidded on or bid on it from earlier when the gum you know probably when the card just came out but like i said honestly for me i'm not gonna sit here and and spend money on a game that's literally done it it'd be so stupid in all honesty if i could take back my money for those three pack openings i did this year i really would take it back because it was so pointless and it was like about 190 dollars you know what i'm saying it was so pointless and so useless um and it's funny because both of the times i did a pack opening the takeover packs and the showtime packs they both had goat cards in it one had a goat magic the other had a goat michael jordan and um i did an out of position two pack opening and that was just a real bad idea that i will never ever do again but you see right here like right here it's showing that he's a buy now of 100k but that's from cards that are from earlier all those guys that happen for 100k they're gonna have to literally put him back up for a cheap cheap price i'm not sure how much he goes for like fully because i didn't i don't think i checked that um but i'm gonna show you how my lineup this was my five man ro rotation but you know what i'm saying this is how my full lineup was at the time i haven't even used it online i just put damien literally <laughs> <laughs> that's a tongue twister i put damian lillard in there because he's my favorite player but um yeah like my lineup was just it wasn't even really nothing you know what i'm saying like i just put cards in there that was pretty good i was like hey whatever bro like full rotation is kind of annoying to use because it's be too many sweats online you I, like you honestly got to sweat so i was like hey here we go let's go to this right here let's uh throwing some cards let's mix it up and, and stuff and let's see how the lineup is looking and i thought to myself as i was doing this i was like hey like the other gold cards are cheap too so why don't i go on ahead and go buy them but this is what the lineup was looking like um you know what i'm saying until i was like hey you know what I, obviously i got uh gold steph curry but he's 6'3 and then you know sometimes he gets bad animation so i'm like bruh i really don't feel like using a steph curry getting pushed around when you got you know cards like Giannis, LeBron, like you could run into crazy cars that would literally just bully Steph Curry. So I'm like, you know what? It's not even worth it. But this was what the lineup was looking like. But then I thought to myself, I'm like, you know what? Why would I keep my lineup like this when those other gold cars are very, very cheap? So we actually ending the video off on our own terms. You know what I'm saying? We ending the video off on our own terms because guess what? I'm going to go buy the gold cars, guys. The cars that are cheap, like Dirk and all these cards, guys. These cards are like 15k mt why would you not go buy it you know what i'm saying like why would you not go buy it some people are gonna be like oh the dirt sucks yeah the dirt sucks until you play somebody that actually knows how to use them get some open shoots open jump shot and keeps greening on you and when you see that 99 speed he has remember guys these are gold cards these are not bad cards the only card that you can say is really really terrible is john stockton because he's 6-1 i don't know why 2k would drop a john stockton for I mean, I guess you could throw him, you can, you know, you, you know make some content for him because he's like the all-time leader in assists and steals. So, you know, you can definitely throw him in there as like a little gold card, but he's 6'1". No one's going to use him. He's too damn small. That card was good in September, the pink diamond version, and after that, it's never been good since. But, um, yeah, like, um, Hakeem's another card that I'm just going to buy for super, super cheap. Obviously, this one right here was um glitched. Um, That's how it is sometimes when they come out with new packs it gets glitched because a lot of people are opening the pack so the auction house just has one of those cards that are just literally sitting there glitched so um i'm not sure why i got off the um off the hakeem i'm pretty sure i went to go buy him probably just looking at the other ones but um yeah oh yeah john stockton taking a look at i'm um, taking a look at john stockton this card is super cheap like literally like i got him for like 8k mt like a john stockton for 8k mt is like bro i'll take it you know what I'm saying? Just be guys, just because the cards are not that great doesn't mean you shouldn't go pick them up. It's a GOAT card. You know what I'm saying? Like, for a little bit of MT, you could play Triple Threat online and make... Bro, if you play Triple Threat online, you can make 15k MT, like, within, like, five games or so. Like, Triple Threat online, you make a lot, a lot of MT, so it's definitely worth it. Um, So, yeah, I'm trying to get this Hakeem, but, you know what I'm saying? It looks like people are going again. And look, this Hakeem is not even this hakeem is not terrible guys like any like i had the hakeem that you got when you beat the historic spotlight sims and this card was good he just you know what i'm saying i you know new cards came out and i over time i just decided not to use them but he was good if he's open he's gonna green for you guys he's definitely gonna green for you and this one is a gold card he has 99 speed 99 ball control like everything is 99 like pr like pretty much 99 if not 99 then it's a 98 um everything so 
you guys see right there all the mt that i had um it was like 470k and i went and just brought the gold cards um and i made this video be what i wanted it to be instead of me going to open do a pack opening and probably get multiple dupes i go on ahead and end up copping a lot of gold cards that are very cheap and that you guys can all get so yeah I would tell you guys don't open these packs but if you want to hey do it at your own risk you're not gonna have good odds and if you do pull something god bless you but hey that's the ending of the video like i said for those that want to see irl videos make sure y'all smash the like button IRL, more IRL, um, more irl videos are coming um i got some gameplays coming for you guys and uh make sure you guys join the 2k21 giveaway before it's too late it is ending on august 31st but with that being said make sure you guys like comment subscribe it's your boy Jaranx, and i'll see you on the next video peace